What's good Foundation Nation? Today we're here with an exciting new disc from Innova. We've got the Juggernaut. This is a pretty polarizing disc. It's very extreme. The flight numbers they gave this are 1241, like positive one, four. Uh, meant to be, it seems like, a very fast and overstable distance driver. Kind of funny that the Venom just came out from Discraft and then this uh, coming out from Innova, maybe it's supposed to be similar. Uh, first impressions, this is, like I said, a pretty intense design of a disc. It's got a very thick, like, leading edge to it, which kind of reminds me of the X-Cal. If I had to, like, say immediately what this reminds me of, it would be the X-Caliber, but maybe just a little bit wider in the hand. It also has, like, an incremental, or I guess a non-incremental dome, where it comes in like it's going to be flat, and then the dome, like, pops up in the middle, which I have seen that on very overstable discs for whatever reason. Um, it doesn't feel bad in the hand. Like, it feels very substantial. It feels bulky. It feels beefy, like... Feel-wise, I can grab this disc and think, wow, this is going to be very overstable. I mean, with a name like the Juggernaut, I hope it is. Um, we're going to test it out today, uh, see what it can hold up to. How stable is this disc? Is it useful or is it just like completely overstable? Um, we do have a little bit of headwind here, so we're going to get to test it on that and see what it does. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a few chucks and see if the Juggernaut lives up to the name. All right, we're going to go ahead and give this a rip on a backhand. Uh, as we're throwing up the field this way uh, there's a little bit of headwind on the way back there'll be some tailwind so this first throw there'll be I would give it five miles an hour headwind not crazy it should be able to handle this hopefully I'll just try and throw it hard flat maybe a little ante very 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 promising start Really cranked on that into the headwind, didn't budge whatsoever. I actually really liked that flight. Very, don't mind the dog over there. Very good flight, very good start. All right, I'm gonna do this my specialty, a lot of Annie. I'm very excited to throw this disc. Oh man, that's cool. I mean, that was a considerable amount of Anheuser and it kind of laughed at me. You can tell you can tell how overstable a disc is by how much your hands in pain after you throw a shot. I would give that about an eight out of ten. All right, I'm gonna give us a rip on a forehand back into the headwind now. A lot of ante. Really gonna give it my best bet here. See if it's defeatable. That thing's no joke. I mean, it, it got back to like a knifing angle into a headwind. The Juggernaut can can confirm it does exactly what it's meant to do. It's just beef. It's just pure beef. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to slay the Juggernaut here. We know what this disc is. You've seen what it does. There's no need to prove itself anymore. I'm gonna try to throw a backhand roller with the Juggernaut. I'll be give it height so it has a chance to fight if it's going to, but let's hope not. Oh, it fought out. Oh, it fought quick. out. And hyzer. Now that is a, that's something. I mean, I've only ever seen that type of flight out of a tilt. It has way more glide than a tilt. But, I mean, a, 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 my Firebird is just getting to the ground on like a little pan angle. That thing got all the way out of it and back to Heiser. Wild stuff. All right, the end of a Juggernaut. This thing lives up to the name. I am trying. I was trying to think off camera while Trevor's wrapping up the other review we were shooting at this time. I don't know if I've thrown a 12 speed as overstable as this. The one that's in my bag that kind of fills this slot is the Enforcer. I have a chameleon enforcer. This thing I think is more overstable. Um, it's not, it's too overstable for what I personally need a, this slot for, so it's not gonna go in my bag. But I mean, if you live in a windy area or you just want something for, you like to knife over forehands or throw big anti backhands that you know are just always gonna hyzer out, or you just are gonna play a really windy tournament, you need something that you know is not gonna do anything but fade for you, that's a juggernaut. Um, this thing didn't show a hint of wanting to stay on Anheuser. It did have more glide than like a tilt or that type of disc, so it still like stayed in the air while it was fighting out. So you could still get like okay distance with it. We're not talking like good distance by any, but okay distance. So I think it's a really good addition to the end of a lineup. I think this is what personally I expected the X-Cal to be when I tried an X-Cal. Um, but the X-Cal was a lot straighter, a lot less beefy than the Juggernaut. So I think that this really fills a slot at the end of a needed. Um, if you want to check that out, you can head over to foundationdisc.com. They're live on our site right now. And we should also be getting some stock ones in. This is obviously the factory store like Halo one, but the Juggernaut I believe is a brand new disc. We should be getting some stock ones in as it, as it rolls out, but check it out, the Juggernaut.